If you are a video editor or a graphic designer, you know that a lot is one of the important aspects in editing or designing. Now, do you know in OBS, you can actually use lots in your streaming. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use lots in your OBS. Don't forget my name, Joseph Olasu Komi, and this is Extensivo. <laughs> Alright, so this is my OBS over here and first of all, I'm going to be adding my camera. I'm using OBS Ninja right now with my tab. So I'm going to be adding it. We will now to add it. I did a video on it earlier on how to add your camera using OBS Ninja. I'm using the OBS Ninja here. Look at it here. And then I'm going to be adding it here. Yes. Then I just copy and paste the OBS Ninja. Then the width, you know the width, which is the custom. My 1020 by 1080. Confirm your audio. Yes. And then let me see. And that should be all then after this a bit of time it's gonna load but people have been telling me it's just black scan just black so at times you just have to wait let it load a bit let it wait, wait a little bit so yes this is over is loaded okay so i did a video earlier on on how to add your lots in vmix yes and now i'm going to be showing you how to add your lots in obs in obs so this is my camera over here you can add any camera actually add the camera actually let me just use the normal studio mode you can add any camera actually not necessarily this you can add your video capture you can add yes i don't have any camera connected right now but if you have any camera connected you can add it over here and then bring it in once you bring it in then delete this once you bring it in you can actually do what i'm about to do right now all right click on it here and go to filter then your filter here you see your audio filter you see your effects filter all the filter is if you want to add effects on your audio and then we have the normal filter here also the video we are going to go to plus icon over here and then we are going to see apply lots yes apply lot i'm going to be using this apply lots you are going to browse where the lot is on our system and then okay this is the normal um the normal default lot that came with the vmix but instead i think i have my own custom lot over here which i'm going to be using it's over here at lots which is i think it's an extensive or Them just start lots. You can also an extensive way. Yes, this is it over here and lots. Then I have a free customized lot over here. I'm gonna bring that shit that stuff there. Oh, well, this is our lot over here. But in Vimix, I use a particular lot, two lots, which I like, and I'm gonna be using that here also. I don't think I can remember though, but I think the first lot should be the blue hour. Yes. I'm gonna open it over here and see how the actually it's actually pretty good. If I turn it off, we'll see. I turn it on you see turn it off turn it on very pretty good you can use the amount so it's not too much but then i like this amount right now i actually like this they can apply another lot to it so i'm gonna apply lots to you can name it also not necessarily giving lots you can name it color build or anything you want and then let me bring in another lot let's say um in my documents june lots yes customize free i add in orange and blue or natural is add natural boost oh, open natural boost can you see the difference over here now if i turn it off you see this if i turn it off you see this this is kind of giving it it's too dark so i don't like this i don't like this this is i can reduce this uh no from the atmosphere from the environment it's not hello working for me so let me just change it and put another a lot let's see let's see let's see um yeah, I think I wanted to go for something dark and I saw dark and somber first, dark and somber. Okay, no, no, not this, not this. Let's see, lost, no, not lost there. Orange and blue. I kind of like this actually. I like this. Yeah. So I'm not just going to make it this way. You can see where you're going to make it this way. Uh huh. So this, we see before, let me turn off. This is before actually. And then adding lost to it. This is the after. This is giving my build. What I like actually. You're giving my clothes, which is blue actually. And for me, just see that it's faintly blue, or at times you can take it dark. But now it's giving my blue clothes blue, showing that yes, it's actually pretty blue, actually blue. And then you can apply some color correction. I did it on Vimeo, so where I can correct my colors, you can apply it there. We can, you know, color grade. If not to color grade well, you can increase this. So you can turn off your lots. If you want to do your lots customized by yourself, increase the gamma. This is the light and dark. Um, if I just give it this way, this is actually how I add, um, how I edit my video when I'm doing it in my Premiere Pro when I'm editing after my studio video. I actually, um, edit, um, you know, color grade the body, the skin, and everything. You can leave this like this kind of natural because normally the office is a good 
just clear dark so yeah brightness it can just do the brightness then use the brightness in zero yes and then saturation and through the saturation a bit so my skin shows the old shift i'm gonna use old shoes no yeah i think this should pretty much be it yeah so let's see before this is before so white is in way and then after actually a pretty cool tone after before and after then i can add this on it can add this on it but now just bring this under it so the color correction is first over the color correction now we have this then we turn this off if we can now reduce this are it is then we can just do this my skin color and then for this i was gonna bring it pretty down like this I think I pretty like this. I like this. This is before now. This is before, which is absolutely white. Absolutely white. And then we have the after, which we're adding all this together from. Okay, let me start from the first on this. Then we have this. And then we have this. Now, before normally, you might not actually think your camera needs color correction or color grade or a lot. You might think it's actually clay. Just like how when I added my video ninja, I think it's actually clay. Until you added it, and then you know that, oh, it can actually be better. Oh yeah, the skin is really better. Oh wow, I love the atmosphere. It's now more chill, more bluish. Given it's no idea, wall over there, it's kind of just too white. I've never seen the wall before, like I'm just to show you. I've not seen the wall, like it's just too white in a way. But then now you can see it actually, like it just brings, it turns down all the old white, it turns it down, and then this gives me my skin more color. The yellow on that frame, it gives it more color. Look at it over here, it gives it more color. And then, this is actually just a feel like the general feel of it and i kind of like this actually i like this so that is how you actually bring your color correction your lots into your video it's color grading your camera to make it more good if you don't like this you can actually work on it more there's some colorists actually that are more exceptional in this like their job is to literally color your camera and stuff but well, then if you just have an idea it can actually work for you yes it can actually work for you in your future if you don't like anything you can do it the way you like it most times i might just use my color correction of this alone pretty good for me but then if i want to add my skin color and just make this my skin color and i think this is good for me already not so much of anything good for me and yes that is how you bring your lots and how you color grade in your obs thank you very much for watching if this video has been useful to you please don't hesitate to like comment share subscribe turn on the vision bell please subscribe please and please subscribe i'm begging please subscribe yeah thank you very much for watching once again uh my name is joseph olasipani this is extensive see you in my next video